Hi guys, it's JC here. For today's video, I'll be doing a really huge book haul. So a few days ago, my friend Summer and I, we went to the Big Bad Wolf box sale, which was held at Mines too. I actually posted up our vlog on my channel just a few days ago, so I'll leave the link to that video down below in the description box if you would like to see what we did at the sale. So basically how this box sale works is that you can have the option to choose between box A or box B. Box A is a smaller box and it costs 80 ringgit, which is around 19 US dollars. While box B is 100 ringgit, which is approximately 24 US dollars, and it is twice the size of box A. This is a really good deal because box A you can fit around 15 books, while box B you can fit around 30 books in there. So after you have purchased the box, you can go and get all the books you want, stuff it in the box. As long as the box can be sealed shut, you're free to go. I managed to get 16 books at the price of 50 ringgit, which is really worth it. Most of these books I've actually never heard of before, but they seem pretty good and pretty interesting. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight to the book haul. So the first book that I got at the box sale is Love You To Death and High Stakes by Mac Cabot. This is book 1 and 2 in her Mediator series. I used to love Matt Cabot's books when I was younger but I've never read any of her books in the Mediator series before. This book is basically about a girl who can see ghosts or something like that. It just sounds interesting and yeah, I just had to get it. The next book that I got is Blood Red Road by Moria Young. This book is basically about a girl whose twin brother is stolen and she goes after his captors. It just sounds really fun and she sounds like a kick-ass protagonist and I love kick-ass female protagonist so why not give this a try the next book that i got in this haul is fire spell by laura amy schlitz to be honest this book was a total cover buy because i don't really know much about this book as well as a lot of the books in the haul actually but look at this cover guys this book looks really magical and whimsical the story also sounds pretty magical because it says here a brilliant and bewitching magical adventure and i am totally hooked by that. The next book that I got is Black City by Elizabeth Richards. This is another cover buy because look at it, so pretty. All I know about this book is that it's about teenagers who live in this city called the Black City and I think it's a series but either way, it looks really interesting and yeah. The next book is Fallen Grace by Mary Hooper. This is a historical fiction novel set in London in the 1800s. I actually haven't ever read any historical fiction novels and this one seems pretty interesting and it also doesn't seem like such a deep historical fiction novel so hopefully this will end up being a really good read as well. The next book that I got seems like a pretty interesting one and it's called Zombies vs Unicorns and this is actually a collection of short stories by some pretty great authors like Holly Black and Cassandra Clare and Eva Brie and Matt Cabot. Basically half of the authors wrote stories about zombies and the other half wrote about unicorns and it just sounds really cute and interesting. Can't wait to jump into this. The next book that I got isn't a book for me but for my brother and the book is The Divergent Companion by Louis H. Crash. I've never read the Divergent series before and my brother has and he loves it so I definitely had to get this for him. The next book that I got is Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. I have heard many great things about this book. I have no idea what it is about but since many people say it's a pretty great book, why not go and get it? <laughs> the next book that I got is The Awakening by Kelly Armstrong. This book is the second book in the Darkest Powers trilogy. I have read the first book many years ago and I could not find this book in any of the bookstores. So I was really sad. But then I saw this at the sale and I just grabbed it even though I no longer remember what the trilogy is about. But yeah. So hopefully one day I get to reread the first book in the trilogy and then read this book and then struggle to find the final book in the trilogy. <sighs> the next book that I got is The Year of the Red by Claire Furness. I'm not really sure what this book is about but I've heard pretty great things about this book. What I do know about this is that the main character's little sister is called the Red and she's the reason that her mom died so the main character has never forgave her little sister for that. Something along those lines. So yeah, this book sounds like a pretty interesting coming of age novel and hopefully I will enjoy it. The next book that I got is Unbreakable by Cami Garcia. Once again, I don't know what this book is about but I know it has a kick-ass female protagonist. This book has been blurred by Ellie Condy and Rachel Kane and Cassandra Clare who are some pretty good authors. So hopefully this book will be really great and yeah, I'm just looking forward to read this book as well as all the other books that I have bought. 
The next book that I got is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I've heard pretty great things about this book and I was so happy to see this book there and it's hardcover. The only problem is it has this kind of big tear in the back but you know what, it's okay. I mean, I can ignore that, hopefully. This book is set in the near future and that's kind of all I know about this book. I just know it's a really great book and I just can't wait to jump into this. The next book that I got is A Face Like Glass by Frances Hardy. Dinge. I hope I said her name right because I do not know how to say that. But anyway, this book looks like another whimsical read, another magical read and uh, that I, I really don't know what this book is about. I'm so sorry, I can't give you a proper summary. But as usual, I'll leave all the Goodreads links to the books down below in the description box if you want to read a proper summary. This book just sounds really magical and interesting and another book that I bought that I hope I can get to in the near future, hopefully. The next book that I got is Girls, Goddesses and Giants by Larry Don. Now this book sounds really interesting. It's a really thin book and just consists of short stories of heroines from around the world, just traditional folklore and it just sounds really interesting. Let me read the back for you. It says, from China and Japan, the Americas, Europe and Africa, this collection of traditional tales shows girls who win the day, whether by cleverness, courage, kindness or strength. Who needs a handsome prince? This just sounds like a really kick-ass collection of kick-ass female heroines from traditional tales and it just sounds really interesting and I can't wait to just read this in my spare time. Yeah. The next book that I got is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This is book 1 in the Chaos Walking Trilogy. I've never read any of Patrick Ness's books before and I've heard pretty great things about them. So I'm really interested in giving this book a go. The next book that I got is Little Red Riding Hood. The illustrations in this book have a really haunting feel to it. And I just find that really unique and the way they tell the story as well is pretty unique. And yeah, I just can't wait to read this book. In my spare time, it's a really thin book. This book just seems like a really unique version of the tale and I... Yeah, I'm, I just can't wait to read this for fun. So yeah, that's it for my Big Bad Wolf box sale haul. And if you notice, I'm wearing a shirt that says Wolf as well because yeah, Big Bad Wolf box sale. 16 books are a lot of books guys and I hope I can get to them in the near future because I have so many books to read and so little time. But yeah, all these books look really interesting and hopefully I get to read them one day. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!